The Mink is a 3D printer for cosmetics that has made a huge splash here at TechCrunch Disrupt. And here to tell us about it is Grace Choi, the founder of The Mink, here with the machine itself. Tell us what The Mink is. The Mink is a printer that prints makeup. It could take any image and instantly transform it into a wearable color cosmetic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Show me what we have here. Well, right now what we have is just a prototype. Our final product is going to be much smaller. Probably the size, think the size of a, a Mac Mini. So what we have here is basically a, um, a powder substrate right now. So this is just raw materials. But all you would do would be insert the small little pot into the printer and then the machine would kind of just dye the substrate any color that you choose. And what can you reveal to me about the materials used here? I know a lot of it is you're, you're keeping it close to the chest yeah. because of intellectual property, <laughs> right. but what is this dye like? When I think about printer dye, I yeah. don't normally want to put that on my face. Yeah, it's definitely not printer dye. Um, it's all cosmetic grade. Um, uh, it's definitely FDA compliant. comes from the same sources as those products that you see on store shelves. And how much will it cost, are you expecting to cost, once it hits stores? Yeah, initially it's going to be um, about probably like $300, but definitely um, the more the more popular it gets, definitely I'm going to try to lower it as much as possible so as many people can have it. I definitely want to get this out there and make it as accessible as possible. How did you come up with this idea? Where did this come from? I've been kind of like creating and inventing products for a while now. I've always loved manufacturing. I've always loved looking at how things are made. When I got to makeup and the makeup industry, I thought, oh, that's interesting. It seems like this could also be made using you know, an inkjet printer. And so I just combined those ideas and came up with this one. Who do you see as the target market? Who's going to buy a mink? Um, well, initially we're going for girls, right? So ages 13 to 21. I love that market because they're just experimenting. They haven't formed any habits yet. And they're also the market where I think it's, it's very important because that's where you build confidence. When I went you know, to a, a makeup store and they only had very fair skin makeup um, and they didn't have anything for Asian women, um, that made me feel kind of alienated or weird that there was something wrong with me. Or if I went there and they didn't have you know, a green colored lipstick or a black colored lipstick. That made me feel kind of like there was something weird about the way I was thinking. So I stopped speaking up in class because my ideas were kind of weird. So, you know, those are kind of like the issues that start with, you know, women and confidence. So I think that's why I want to start with girls, not only for a business reason, but also I think there's a lot of, a lot of good we can do from there. So that's where I'm starting. Eventually, could you see a mink in every home and instead of someone like me going to Sephora or Nordstrom or Macy's to pick up some lipstick, maybe I'll just get it from my mink? I definitely think, you know, the mink is going to be the future of makeup. And you're the sole founder? Tell me about your team. Yeah, it's just me. And what has the reaction been like over the past couple of days? Yeah, it's been amazing. A lot of people have been really supportive. I'm really grateful. I'm really overwhelmed um, by the support. I'm really excited about like all of this. And um, yeah, I, I just am speechless. So yeah. Thank you so much for talking yeah, to us about the mink. Thank you so much for having me.